So look at this. I don't know what that is. It just like popped up. I don't like bruises or something. I don't know what the fuck that came from though. Hmm. It has a rough texture as well. Almost like it popped up overnight because Testing, testing. Okay. Um, I'm still got cold in my eyes. I'm trying to think. Because it give me, it made me think of a burn. Okay. So I just want to talk about some symptoms and everything lately. So for one, uh, my period should be starting very soon. Ooh. See, I feel it. Like, when I'm just talking about it, I don't know what the fuck that is, man. But I had this before. I had this before, man. I really think motherfuckers fucking with me. Um... But I do feel like it's other things because um, I've been noticing people around me uh, is having similar symptoms and stuff. But I've been having a pain in my solar plexus, you know. And I feel like, I feel like um, I had this before my period before. Like, especially when my period late, it's like my body is not, is refusing to release. And I feel it in my solar places, you know. Ooh. I'm feeling it now. It be so intense sometimes. And it get activated by certain things. Like, I was watching a video. And I just couldn't take it. It's the feeling of not being able to stomach. <laughs> that's the feeling. Not being able to stomach. I bet you that's what it is. Like, I just be hating this world, this system so much. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The system is ridiculous. Not how, not how much I hate it because, you know... I feel like if you sane, you don't even want to be here, honestly. Like, if you are sane in your right mind, you are motherfucking tired. You tired of this shit. You don't want to be here, man. You, you, you just, you over it, man. You over it. I don't know what's going on, but... Lately, something is wrong with the motherfucking water, okay? Something is wrong with the water, man, severely. I just feel like I just cannot get hydrated. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oof, lot. I feel it in my solar places, man. I just feel like I just cannot get hydrated properly. And I feel like this could be why. And I'm drinking filter water and stuff. And then when you go look it up, they talk about some electrolytes and whatnot. But I went and got some electrolytes and that shit did not work. 
for a long amount of time but the fact that we even need this electrolyte shit now because we didn't need that back in the day but the fact that we need that electrolyte shit now um prove that it's something wrong with the water because water should naturally have whatever it we need in it okay so something is wrong with the water where we can't hydrate it like it can't absorb into us unless other shit and you know i feel like when it comes to uh especially divine people oh lot when it comes to divine people you know they um trying to kill us <laughs> they trying to kill us okay that's what they're trying to do all right i'm just gonna be real man and i'm talking about it's it's going as deep as uh to our kids and stuff like that now i feel like yes we are protected but we are being heavily influenced by this shit first they stress you out with this high ass rent Okay, that's one of the methods. They put you in fear, worry, depression, doubt. They put you in those low vibrations and then they start to poison you and stuff like that. Now, you are protected if you could keep your energy high, you know, keep your energy balanced, work through your fears, work through what's ever going on. If you can do that, you could be protected. And the other people that don't get sick or whatever, unless they just need to kill somebody, the sleep people. Mm, mm, mm. The sleep people. The sleep people these are complacent slaves so you know they want to keep these people around because they want their slaves they're trying to get rid of all the rebellious spirits you know we the motherfucking problem you remember y'all motherfucking remember when they was uh trying to manipulate everybody into getting this shot whatever and then they up here, the shit didn't even make no fucking sense. That's what I'm saying. They on the news and whatnot talking about uh, y'all the problem. Uh, y'all are killers. I mean, just this whole hate train on people who do not want to take the vaccine. And it don't make no fucking sense because, bitch, if you took the vaccine and you protected any motherfucking ways, why you worry about me? Huh? That's what I'm saying. That's what the fuck I'm saying, though. So, and then I seen uh, solar plexus. Just need my period to turn on, man. I I guarantee you, I feel better as soon as it turns on. Uh, I'm gonna put the crystal on it. I dropped the crystal and it broke y'all in. Anyways. Mm. Feel better already. You got to get one of these big ass crystals, man. Raw. Got to get you a big ass raw crystal and everything. This is some type of plant. You know, it's called an air plant. That's on it or whatever. Anyways, um, it's dry right now. It could turn green, like you see some of the green. Uh, that's because you know I've been watering it, but it ain't turning all the way green because there's something wrong with the fucking water, man. Anyways, mm mm mm. But, yeah, it ain't just something wrong with the water. Something severely wrong with food, okay? <sighs> so, just be strong, y'all. Just be strong and whatever like that. Because right now, 
they are indeed poisoning us in ways that we can't really prevent you know at this point it don't matter if you go vegan don't matter what diet that you eat it don't matter none of that shit matter it don't matter what water that you drink or whatever um i do remember when people started to get that shot um they started to feel healed or something like they would say stuff like i got more energy uh they might have had like high blood pressure and their blood pressure would get lower and stuff like that now that's interesting that's interesting so they i don't think that whatever the shot is might be protecting them from the poison that's they putting in the water and the food and shit now but like i said if you are spiritual you are balanced you keep your energy up as much as possible because honestly it's a lot of people energy low right now because um i mean why not it ain't shit here to be happy about <laughs> like damn like uh let's not be delusional we living in hell down here okay i'm so fucking sick of this place yo i just can't man i was just screaming like all day yesterday like universe look i'm tired of this hell man i'm tired of these bills i'm tired of all this shit okay Yo, sometimes my thoughts be going hella extreme, like, bitch. Like, I'm tired of, why I gotta be here? I could just log out. That's how I feel about it. You know, I got a Scorpio moon. But, I be like, man. And it's not that. It's, I'm worried about shit or whatever like that. It's not that. It's just that everything here just irks my fucking nerves. The system seeing what they do and you feeling like you don't have no control you feel like hopeless in a sense you know all you have is your spirituality that's all the fuck you have because the system is definitely rigged but that's very obvious at this point but people need to zoom out and stop thinking that you could have some sense of change in it because they built that illusion that if you vote or you protest or if you work hard or some shit like that, that shit is going to get better for you and whatever. No. Are you going to be able to make changes to the system? No. You know, that's why, man, I was dealing with a situation with my old apartments or whatever, and they was doing some typical shady shit that apartments do or whatever and this one girl that i used to be friends with amana she would be like yeah you have to fight back and shit like that but you know she was like supposed to be the lawyer and stuff but every time i asked you for lawyer advice you never really gave me anything okay so i'm like thinking of it on the sense of like yo you need money and to get money you need to sell out like there's like no way around it or whatever so you have to pick and choose your battle wisely or whatever like i will have to defeat a lot of these battles that i be in through the spiritual realm because i don't have the means in the 3d to do the shit and you know they put spiritual people through this but it fails when it makes you stronger when it breaks you open you know because some people it just break down um some people it just kill and everything like that um It slightly feel like a burn too, 
but I can't recall being burnt by something. And, you know, I do be paying attention to myself, you know. So I feel like if I, if it was there or like yesterday or some shit like that, I would have seen it. Child, I'm just irk. Irk, 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 irk. So lately, and I know it's not just me, it's other people around me. Uh, We've been very dry. And, you know, we all people that drink a lot of water. And it just seemed like you just cannot get hydrated right now. You just cannot get hydrated. Like, I feel like they drying us out. That's why I feel like. Mm -mm -mm. So. Now, what you do need to know that as you ascend. Like. Spiritually and stuff. You have more responsibilities. And um, you don't have the luxury of not doing your purpose. <laughs> like if you start to not do your purpose, then you will indeed be hit very hard, okay? <laughs> um and your purpose don't have shit to do with this 3D realm. Like, man, it ain't your purpose to be a fucking teacher. Well, no. I mean like a school teacher. Cause there's other forms of teaching that's way better, okay? Um, because I consider myself a teacher, but I'm talking about going to college. And then going to work in their system in order to teach. Because I realized, man, I motherfucking realized that if I went to went to if I would have went to school for certain things, I wouldn't be able to think outside of the programming of what they taught me of how to see something. So, like, when I was watching that movie, The Mother, and I came across that cold, and I looked it up, and chemistry came up, and it was like this antibiotic, and yada, 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 yada. It's on my uh, community post. Um, I'm going to name this shit, they trying to off us. They are trying to off us, because they are. Especially right now, they hitting you with all types of shit or whatever, and it's not. It's affecting our kids. All right. Uh, my daughter came down with a sickness. Um, I have a friend. Her child has came down with a sickness. What is creating like a lot of mucus? Okay. Um. So they are targeting. Our kids, <sighs> which they are protected too, you know, but it's also important to bring your kids to awareness, especially like after 12. What the fuck? I keep seeing something. I'm telling you, it's a weird time right now. It's a weird time. <laughs> It's a weird fucking time. I actually got a recording of um this light flickering in the bush. And I put on my community post when I seen a similar light flickering in the grass. I don't know what that's about, y'all, but shit is weird right now. All I know is... If it's time for this shit to end, then I'm, I need it to fucking end, man. I'm tired, man. 
I want this shit to end before rent is due, okay? <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. Like, if I was to look up and see an astro about to hit this motherfucker, like, I just smoke me a joint and be like, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I am fucking tired, yo. Blow this bitch up. I would not give a fuck. I hope. Because I, I want to go quick. You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't want to see. <laughs> this is all Scorpio Moon shit. I don't want to see. <laughs> I don't want to see uh, this dust cloud coming at me. I don't want to see that. I was like, oh, shit. And I'm pretty sure that shit would look very scary. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be quick. Like. I want to be within the impact zone so it can be quick and over with, child, bitch. Child, child, child. I don't know why I said bitch. It came up so naturally, like, it wasn't even me saying it. Like, bitch, child, bitch. That's why I said. <laughs> oh. This crystal is helping a lot, y'all. I'm telling you, it really do work. Like, when my daughter came down with the sickness from, like, doing the tests at school and stuff, um, she had, like, a really bad headache, wasn't able to lay down, and nothing worked but the crystal. So I gave her the crystal, told her to put it on top of her head, and she fell asleep. Go and get you one, man. Go and get you one right the fuck now. Okay? I'm going to tell you why. Because, you know, and go to a reputable shop or something like a shop that you trust, a shop that you feel like is protected. Why I'm saying this is because they are starting to remove spiritual tools. Like I went into Walmart looking for a motherfucking seven-day candle. And... I couldn't find it. I believe that they like discontinue it because I looked on the website and it wasn't on there. I'm like, how the fuck y'all gonna discontinue the seven day candles? I also noticed I can't find the candles with the, you know, they will have like the seven day candles with the stickers or like Mother Mary or whoever, an angel or something like that. At Walmart, they used to have the sticker with the love and the money for the pink and green candle. They removed that shit. They removed that shit from my Walmart. And I was like, that's something purposeful. It's just like when... <laughs> it's just like when... um When they first put us in lockdown, they block seeds from being sold you couldn't buy any seeds they will say that this item is not for sale they were having in the store on display like why i just couldn't take it to the back room but they would have stickers all over it saying not for sale why we can't buy garden seeds huh Cause that's some shit that I was like, look, we might be going into an apocalypse and stuff like that. So let me go buy some seeds. And then I go to the store and you can't buy seeds anymore. Why? Bitch, we stuck in the house anyways. What if I have a backyard? You telling me I can't garden my own food now? Because what? We in lockdown. And this is the same time when they telling farmers to burn half their crops because they don't have nobody to process it. So y'all just really, really, really wanted to starve us out. See, they wanted to put that pressure on us because they know that it weakens you. They trying to kill us. Okay. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. And I need people to see. I need them to see, man. 
Because look, it's people still be believing in the system in a delusional way. Like I got into a whole argument with my daddy. Now my daddy don't took all the vaccines and whatever. So I know it's certain shit that I shouldn't even bring up to him. It's certain, it's certain shit that I should not even open that door to that conversation because um, my dad get real mad and passionate when I be like, I'm not fucking voting. He start calling me irresponsible. He start saying that y'all young people don't know what y'all talking about. And I'm saying like, uh, people in my age range gonna cause change. And he was like, how? Blowing up a building? I said, no, we not like that. We are smarter than that. But he can't see through that projection of whatever the fuck they be saying on the news. But they ain't giving you the truth, okay? All right? But he believed that if you vote, now I'm up here, he just said, because we had a conversation, he he said that the, our vote don't really matter. And they even tell you that because of the electoral shit, that, you know, uh, a voter only need like 43%, maybe less than that, popular votes. Um, Whatever the electoral college is going to be the deciding factor. So basically, they built something in the system that either way, they're going to put in office whoever they want to put in office for whatever gender they want to play. But they manipulating you to make you believe that you have a say in this, that you have rights. No, we don't have no motherfucking rights. That's why when that girl, my neighbor, when I was telling her what the office was doing to me, and she telling me, like, you know, I should have did this, I should have did that. Um, put them in a place or something like that. And I was like, nah, I couldn't move like that because... And she was like, they couldn't do nothing because you got rights. That shit ain't real. Especially for a motherfucker like me, that shit is not fucking real. I'm in a situation that these people are purposely trying to upset me for some type of reason like it feels like i'm walking into a motherfucking setup okay so these motherfuckers already trying to do shit to piss me off after putting me through all this unnecessary shit because it was unnecessary that's why i started to protest in the lobby but nobody gave a fuck you know like they couldn't even i know they can hear me because i'm yelling okay <laughs> so i know that they could hear me but they refuse to look at me or whatever. Like they scared or something. They don't want to be associated with me. Okay. Because they worry about what the fuck going to happen to them. But see, they not zooming out though. Because if they do this to me. Well, they doing it to me for a different reason in a way. So that's why with some people, I'm like, I understand. Okay. Understand. Overstand. You know. I get it, but, um, and I'm not doing it to get people on my side because even though they don't want to, uh, be associated with me, I know you, I know you could fucking hear me. I know that you can hear me and I know that that shit is going to spread because motherfuckers in that building love to talk and gossip or whatever okay i just hope that motherfuckers talk about what the fuck i was saying but not um the fact that i was just going off because but they be so fucking ignorant and i know some of y'all still fucking watch me and i libra girl i've been there recently in those apartment complex and they don't fell apart I don't know what the fuck. Like, they don't cut the grass anymore. It, it's like nobody outside. Why? It feels so dead, though. It feels so dead. Yeah. I used to protect the whole building. Why? Because I live in it. <laughs> 
So when I be going on my walks, like around the building, like I'm putting out a certain intentions. Anyways, um, Bro, when I moved out, it ain't no telling what took over because shit was getting so weird in those apartments. I'm talking about it just, it seemed like some, you know what? I was listening to something that Bobby Hitman was saying and he was saying that, you know, in the projects, they have like built in trap doors and stuff like that and like, they is gathering people and harvesting them. See, I'm feeling this shit. I don't even know. I don't know what the fuck is that, man. I can't stand shit like this. So, um, they, uh, Shit started to get real weird, but I did have a moment with the management right before this had happened, and they seemed to be, like, very secretive and very stressed out, and some of the shit that they was doing, I remember having a conversation, and I was mad at this point. I was like, man, y'all don't really give a fuck about us, and she was like, we do give a fuck about you. We do give a fuck about you, and I'm just like, bitch. How you give a fuck about me when y'all towing people cars around rent time, raising the rent in the middle of the fucking lease? How you give a fuck about me, motherfucker? But I feel like what she was trying to say is that they don't have no choice. And I feel like for some of them, it bothered them too, but they don't have no choice or whatever. And then they just suddenly switch management. And then the new management, they were just so weird. Always defensive, like since the very beginning. Like, how the fuck you new here and you already defensive? So, um, I'm talking about since the very beginning. They, like, had an attitude with people and shit like that. Uh, rude to every motherfucking body. Have emotional breakdowns at, like, they just cannot keep their shit together. They seem like some very... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the gum, y'all. Um, They seem like some very stressed out people. Like some people that's probably going to die of cancer or something like that because they have a lot of repressed shit going on. Um, I don't know. Maybe not because they could just be bots. But I, as when I was moving out, I was just seeing more and more weird shit, okay? Like, it's a dude that died in an apartment. You know what? I'm going to hold that story for now. Um, Then there would be people who would say shit like, when they be going around here they be seeing faces and shit like that um yeah but nobody liked it, the new management but you know recently I had briefly talked to that neighbor that I was close with at one point and you know She still lived there. She said it don't bother her anymore. That's what she said. She was supposed to call me back, but she never did. I do be noticing motherfuckers, like, get scared of you or something. <laughs> like that one dude who... um. That one dude who 
stop me and he was just telling me what he think about me and whatnot and it was really sweet and everything and then I gave him my YouTube he seen it and he became like paranoid like I remember asking him a question and he was just like Psh. no he did not he did not say because it was in a test message but this is just how it felt to me like he felt like I already knew the answer like I was reading his mind or something like he probably thought I already pulled tarot cards on him and all types of shit no no that was not the case like I prefer to learn shit from people through them okay like I don't sit there and try to just digging people and whatnot I don't do that I don't feel the need to do that either now granted I am intuitive like I could pick up on some things pretty quickly but if I'm asking you a question that because I'm I really want to know but and then he started seeming like all secretive and he just seemed like he was just scared so I don't know I was like dude we should just because the energy was weird and I was like dude all right this gonna be like our last conversation right here and um that was our last conversation I feel like he still watched me but you scared of me dude that's cool I don't like wasting my time with people that are scared of me anyways okay <sighs> so cause ain't shit to be scared about that's what I'm saying like It ain't if you just a real ass motherfucker, you know. But it, I know it might not just be you hiding something or whatever like that. It could be a whole lot of different reasons. It could be you going through a situation at the time. Mm -mm, let me check that because I feel something. I don't know what these fucking, what should call it popping up on me. Okay. So yeah, something wrong with the water. It don't matter what water you drink. You could drink your fancy Fiji water or whatever, that shit. They put something in like all the water that really dry us the fuck out. And I feel like, nah, I was saying that I feel like um it has different effects on people with the vaccine, but it still dries them out. It still makes them dry. But I feel like, I don't know, because those could just be the people that's close to me. I'm not talking about what I'm thinking about, so I'm just thinking. And I don't feel the need to, like, I'll probably talk about it later once I tie the pieces together and whatnot but i'm finna go i'm finna go also another symptom is that i've been tired as fuck now i do feel like something else is going on i feel like it could be something in the air man i don't know man but it's draining my energy, man. It's draining the fuck out of me. And I need stuff. I got to do stuff and whatnot. But this energy is like making me sit still and making me sit still. And I just, I feel like I can't even fight against it. I can't fight against it. You know, I be like trying to go work and stuff like that. And I'm just like, man, I can't, I can't move. 
I can't move, man. I just, like, it just be so hard to do, like, anything. I don't know, man. I'm ready for this shit to be over, okay? And I'm sick and tired of people talking about it. But it ain't happening, man. And that's including my motherfucking self because it's something really happening, okay? And then when you intuitive, you just, you picking up on it. But you don't know the date. You don't know when the fuck is going to happen. You just know that it's going to happen soon. But bitch, no, I need it now, okay? <laughs> And then, you know, oh my God, I, I'm not, I need it to happen now. Mm.